The babies are finally here. <laughs> Fancy Nancy's doing great. These babies are seven days old. They were born last Friday. And they are doing so good. And these babies are so cute. I am completely in love with these babies. We were not planning on keeping the babies, but we are seriously rethinking that idea. What do you think? Do you think we should keep them? <laughs> they are boys though, so that would mean they would need a completely separate house and separate pen for them to have them separated when the time comes from their mother and their aunt. So what that would mean is if we decided to keep them would be more farm infrastructure to put in place and expand our herd a bit. So this baby here on my right has no horns. He is born pulled. Whereas this baby on my left, he's got little buds where the horns are coming in. My kids have been naming each of these, but the names keep changing. So we don't have official names yet. <laughs> but if we officially decide to keep them both, we will name them based off of their personalities. They came out yesterday for the first time outside of the shed and it was just so funny to watch them frolic and play. They loved playing in the grass and having room to run around and do their little goat baby hops. <laughs> the flock of chickens saw the baby goats for the first time and they were sounding the alarm. <laughs> They couldn't believe that there were two more goats <laughs> across the way from them. <laughs> and then when our dogs spotted the two baby goats, they were barking and they wanted in. They wanted to sniff these babies and come check them out, see where they came from. <laughs> We've had a little bit of trouble with Amelia Bedelia accepting these little babies. She's very protective of Fancy Nancy and we had to kick Amelia out during the labor because she was trying to protect Fancy Nancy from the kids and I because Fancy Nancy was crying out and so Amelia was rightfully concerned. But now that the babies are here and the babies try to nurse on Amelia Bedelia, she's not interested in that <laughs> for sure. So we've been slowly allowing them to have supervised time together and she's getting better. She's building up her tolerance to them. <laughs> oh, but I love coming out here every morning and getting my goat cuddles in. Right? We do goat cuddles. Our little chicky babies that have been sick, they are actually doing much better. We sadly did lose three chicks to coccidiosis. So that was really hard to go through. I'm really thankful that the remaining chicks are doing well. They responded well to the medication for coccidiosis and each day they get better and better and now they are just polishing off their food and water. They're playing, flying around and they're excited to see me in the morning. So it's great to have them back acting normally. We're gonna keep going on the medication just so we don't stop it early. We wanna make sure they get the full treatment and that this coccidiosis is completely gone from their system. But I'm very hopeful that they have made a full recovery at this point. We have moved the four week old chicks out of the house and out into the main chicken coop. Normally we would move our chicks out to the chick coop but with the babies being sick, we didn't want to have any intermingling. And our roosters are in their rooster coop. So everybody's got their own areas. <laughs> I've noticed less fighting between the roosters this week. So they seem to be adjusting to their new rooster coop and not being able to see the female chickens seems to be helping with the fighting. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to find some homes for the roosters soon so that they can enjoy being the only rooster on a farm with some hens. <laughs> that will make them really happy. <laughs> These two babies have 
brought a lot of joy into our life, especially during a sad time on the farm. Not only did we lose our chicks to illness, but our beloved Sven had to be rushed to the hospital this week. I had noticed that he wasn't eating well and that he just seemed lethargic and off. And then I noticed that his stomach began to swell and his back legs started to swell. I rushed him to the emergency hospital. Unfortunately, Sven is in congestive heart failure. We knew he had an aortic stenosis, but it had been stable and he didn't require any medication. Unfortunately, it caught up with him. The emergency vet had recommended that we take him off a grain-free diet. We don't know for sure what the cause was, but we have switched him over to a diet that has no peas, no legumes, and no beans, as recommended by the veterinarian. And he really likes the new food, so we're hoping that between all the medication that he's on for his heart and the new diet, hopefully we can help him to be as comfortable as possible with the time that he has left. He saw a cardiologist and based off of his cardiac ultrasound results, they're estimating that he has at best six months to live. It's not something anybody wants to hear about their wonderful family member because he is he's part of the family and he's only five years old and he's just an amazing dog he takes care of the chickens he takes care of the goats he watches the kids He's really excited to meet these baby goats. He hasn't been allowed in with them yet, but he will be soon because he truly is a gentle giant. And this is what he loves. He loves to be with us, with the family, with the farm animals. And we're gonna celebrate his life and, and we're just gonna continue giving him the best life that he can possibly have while he's still with us. His breed is a Doggy de Bordeaux, which is a French Mastiff. And so they are prone to a lot of health issues. And their lifespan is approximately five to eight years. We absolutely love Doggy de Bordeaux because of their personality, their gentle heart, and, and how loving they are with their family. And they just have a great temperament. But it does help knowing that he has had an amazing life here on the farm. And even though his life's gonna be cut short, unless we get a miracle, <laughs> at least I have comfort knowing that we gave him the best life that a dog could ask for. And he's happy. And really, that's what, that's what we all need is to have joy in life and to be happy and enjoy life while while we're still living. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Yes, I do. I love you. Because you're such a good man. You're such a good man. You are. Oh, mommy, clean you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thanks. Love you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we had two great videos come out this week. One was documenting the birth of these two sleepy babies. And we also made a video about the contents of our kidding kit. So. I had put a lot of different items in our kitting kit just to be sure that we were fully prepared for the birth of the babies. So in the video I talk about what I put in my kitting kit, what I actually use during the birth, and what I plan to add to my kitting kit after this experience. You should definitely check those videos out. 
I've already watched their birth story so many times because I just can't get enough of just the joy of the birth. Those are some great memories that I share with my kids and how they were so amazing helping me out with Fancy Nancy and supporting her and helping her to birth these babies. <laughs> Be sure to check back next Friday and see how big these babies are at that point and see how the chicks are doing and what else we have going on for projects. <laughs> these two babies are fast asleep. This is just like so precious to just be able to cuddle with goat babies. It's very therapeutic. I highly recommend it. So if you haven't started your farm yet, what are you waiting for? Get your farm on. Farm, a wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you. Yeah.